everybody and welcome back to a brand new video. So today I'll be showing you how to do project 2 in the Velamens Educative Starter Kit EDU01. So today's project is transistor acting as a current amplifier. Lighting up an LED using a transistor and use your finger as a switch. How it works. In this circuit, the small current flowing through your finger will be amplified by the transistor. The base current that runs via your finger and resistor R1 is amplified by transistor T1. The amplified current flows through the LED and R2 making the LED lit. R3 will prevent the transistor from unwanted functioning. So for this project, we need a 9 volt battery as well as its connector to the breadboard, two 1K resistors, you can see that it is brown, black, red, and gold, a 470K resistor, you can see that this one is yellow, purple, yellow, and gold. An LED. A transistor. So there's two different types of transistors in this kit. The transistor for this project is the BC547. There's also a BC557. Uh, but that's not for this project. For this project, we're using the BC547. But on the transistor itself, it says BC547B. But it's the same thing. We're going to need two jumper wires and of course a breadboard. So now that we have our parts, let's get started. So first we're going to connect our 9 volt battery to the breadboard. But since we don't want current flowing through the breadboard while we're still building it, we're not going to connect it yet. We're just going to put the wires in. So the red one is going to go on the top in the number one column and the black or negative is going to go in the same column on the exact opposite of the breadboard. Just like that. Next, we're going to put in our two jumper wires. One jumper wire is going to go from the fifth column in the same row as the red wire to the same column, which is number 5, to 5D. Like so. The next one is going to start at 7A and end at 7D. Now we're going to take our 1K resistor and we're going to connect it from 7E to 13I. So you can make sure that you get the right row and column by just using a flat surface. And make sure it's 13. So now we're going to take our transistor. And this is where it gets a bit difficult. So you can see in the diagram provided that the transistor has three different legs and they're referred to by B, C, and E. So the part that says B, C, 5, 4, 7 is the flat side. So that's gonna, the part that's going to be in the front. So the front is going to be facing this way. And so B is going to go right at 13i. C is going to go at 14i. And E is going to go in the same row as the black wire in the 13th column. So now we're going to take our 470k resistor and connect it from 13k to the ninth column in the same row as the black wire. Just like that. Now we're going to take our LED and we're going to find the negative side which is the shorter lead and the negative side is going to go right here. The negative side is going to go here, and it's going to start from 14J and go to 14F, like that. Finally, we're going to take our other 1K resistor and connect it from 14E to 14 row to the 14th column in the same row as the red one. So this is the circuit. And now we can plug in our battery to the connector. Make sure it clicks. So this is our completed circuit. And you can see nothing is happening. But that is because we need to put our finger between these two wires in order for the LED to light up. So you can see when I put my finger, the LED lights up. You can also wet your finger with some water in order to make the LED light stronger because water is a better conductor of electricity. So this is the final circuit for project 2 of 
Velleman's Educative Starter Kit, EDU01. Thank you for watching. I hope you found this helpful, and I will see you in the next video. Thank you.